nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today. Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come here, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. This is about to get ugly. I have a really to worry about without ugly. these things. A Of course it bloody is. Because of my status to be accosted in this manner. Shocked? Charity, Nicholas, city. We won't find him here. Back to work. The behavior is quite unbecoming. Leave me alone. Do you intend to come any closer? Unbelievable. I told the speaker I wanted That's to use this room weeks ago. Well, now, I then can't believe someone of their day would say that. I'm sure it was a misunderstanding. This Lord Bloody Cardigan swooped in and laid claim to it. Some nonsense about the elections. Who made you do that? You posted men at the door, and they're not letting anyone in without a bloody password. Meanwhile, I have my esteemed fellow MP, the Honourable Member for Dunny on the World, waiting to discuss grazing rights. Blast Cardigan. Blast the speaker and blast room bloody 106. Don't remind me. I have an appointment with him later. Come on, you can use my chambers in the meantime. <laughs> Where do you think? You <laughs> think so I just need to get inside. No need for this to get messy. Just don't hurt me. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes. It's a... Just this way. Follow me, Sergeant. But discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's defeated. <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames.
One of my favorite disguises is a very ancient old lady, modeled after my mother. Be surprised how convincing I am. Clava. Come in. Ah, 
Mr. Hacker, one moment. Dash paperwork will be the death of us, what? Give me a stout horse and a saber and I'd have this government running. Now then, <laughs> let's discuss this like j Good God! Who the bloody hell? Oh, shut up. The hero of Balaclava should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Then you finished yet. Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Old Soberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. <laughs> 